recently and when you get a new computer all of the fonts are gone sadly so what I did is I went and downloaded all of the fonts that I want to have um, I did that through Defont and Teachers Pay Teachers that's where I got all of my fonts from in this case and I unzipped all of them you can do that at all at one time which is pretty cool and so now I'm left with a bunch of folders and it's really tedious to go inside each folder and find the .ttf file and we don't see that one here because I've already run through this process but you would see a .ttf file in each one of these folders and it would be extremely frustrating to go through each one and install that way so what I did is I made an automator workflow application and I basically found a task that said find finder items in the downloads folder with a file extension that has TTF in it. And then you can move those finder items into a folder of your choice, which I made the fonts folder. So I dragged that into this spot and then all you need to do is run it. And we're going to see some errors down here because I've, like I said, I've already run it, so it's not going to have any TTF files to find, but it seriously took just the same amount of time as what you're going to hear now. You have to go up and hit run. And it, it took literally that amount of time. It was very fast. And then I can open my fonts folder and everything is here. Um, then you though, you know, you have to go in and do the tedious task of installing everything. So I can go into font book and I think I can just drag them in here. I'm not sure. And just to be sure, I'm going to open Keynote. Go to a new document. and see if um, those fonts are there. And we can see all of the fonts that I've added for KG and all of the fonts that I've added for AG. And that's it.